Okay, what we have here are the three currently in use U.S. Air Force heavy bombers. These represent the extent of the U.S. Air Force heavy bomber fleet. You have the B-52H here. All of these are in 172nd scale. The last B-52H was actually built in 1961, maybe 62. But they have been extensively updated and maintained. In fact, recently, over the last two or three years, they adjusted the bomb bay to hold the uh, rotary launcher, the common rotary launcher, CRL. So now instead of just these 12 Tomahawk and or other uh, precision guided munitions, they can hold up to 20. And that's pretty exciting. The same is true of the B-1B bomber. I'll show you the underside of that one in a minute. Right now we have approximately 78 of the B-52Hs uh, in use and 62 of the B-1Bs. Both of those, about 100, were built. Altogether, about 700 B-52s were built in their various configurations, but about 100 B-52Hs and 100 B-1Bs. And then, of course, we have the mother of all bombers, the stealth bomber, the B-2B, 20 of which we have in service. And they also carry the rotary launcher. Let's look underneath and we shall see. There are two bomb bays. And uh, there's one of them filled with precision guided munitions. And of course, the big thing about the B-2B, and B-2, is it's a stealth aircraft. You know, a fifth generation aircraft. Now, our other aircraft are getting older, but they're also very effective still. The B-52 carrying 20 precision guided munitions or up to 73,000 pounds of all types of bombs. The B-1 carrying up to 78,000 means that these aircraft can carry a lot. The United States is currently building the new long range strike bomber. Grumman won the contract for that, and they're going to build an aircraft that looks very similar to the B-2. It will be newer, have more advanced stealth, and they are planning to build about a hundred of them. We know that all the B-52s will be replaced. I hope they keep the B-1s going for a while. By the way, let's look at the B-1 at the bottom of it and see it's um, rotary launcher. Here it is. There you can see the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and then 8 on the rotary launcher. These are excellent models. One thing I did for the B-52 that I like to show off a little bit is let me just come over here and hook it up. We've got a little extra. I'll turn the light off and you'll see. You can maybe see already. Yes. We've got the inside lit up on that baby. If you go out online and look at my B-36, I wish I had put a light in that one because it's got a huge internal area. And it would be nice to have the insides lit up on the B-1 and the B-2 as well. But when we turn it off, you get quite a, a nice show here with the, with the B-52. Five, uh, five men sit there, two up front, one in the middle. And two officers back towards the back. So there you have the the lit 
flight deck and the three different bombers being used by the US Air Force 160 total bombers and the reason I hope that they keep the 62 B1Bs and the 20 of the B2s is that with 100 long-range strike bombers we then have a very good number of bombers closing in on 200 instead of the current 160. But may, make no mistake, all three of these bombers will be in use for some time to come. And they have really, really upgraded the B-52 with the, the common rotary launcher. Uh, later, I'll show you a 172nd scale Chinese. It used to be the Russian Tu-16. It's the H. 9k now that the Chinese license build and they build them brand new and they've got a lot of them and they can carry each one of those can carry six and they're kind of the Chinese version of our B-52 they're almost as old uh, but very up to date and we'll show you one of those at some future time the nice thing from the US standpoint is where they carry six uh, our B-52 carries 20 and the B-52 munitions are very varied in, uh, in what it can carry. So with that, there's the three U.S. Air Force main bombers in 172nd scale. Thanks.